console edition, Ross has done it again. I look on with almost glee watching the chaos unfold. Not because I'm rooting for them to lose or because I want them to lose. In fact, I'd really love it if everything went off without a hitch, but because sometimes you've just got to marvel at how badly something goes. For instance, when you release a game and that game relies on gunpowder and you make gunpowder uncraftable, that, that, that's a bit of a troll. Like that, that's hilarious to me, right? Like you can only look at that and laugh. And when you release community servers almost two and a half years after you promised they'd come out and then you manage to make it so bad that most people can't even use them and the people who can use them can't use locks on their doors, well, we're looking at gunpowder incident all over again. And look, it is what it is. This stuff happens with game development. It happens a lot with Rust. I mean, I, I don't know what's going on there. The PC version of Rust, they managed to release trains, planes, automobiles, and a goddamn spaceship without anything happening. But the console edition of Rust, they put in a new plant and the whole thing goes butts up. I don't know what's going on with this, but it is what it is. What I'm gonna be doing today is trying to actually fix some stuff rather than just making jokes and marveling at the utter destruction. So yeah, we're gonna be going over some fixes that have worked for some people. Full disclosure, I can't get my server up right now. Like people are asking me, Serial, do you have a server? I do have a server. I have paid for a server. That server, however, I, I, it's it's somewhere in the ether. I don't I don't know what they're doing with it. I don't know where it's gone. It might be hosting the latest edition of Pornhub for all I know, but I'm definitely not using it. So it is what it is. These fixes aren't going to work for everyone, and they didn't even work for me. But these are some fixes that people have said have worked for them. So if you're a server owner, stay tuned because hopefully one of these will fix your problems. So first off, when you go to start up a server you go to g portal and then you think you start a server but when you go to my server you don't see a server it might be the case that you've actually just bought yourself credits go ahead use those credits to buy a server and now you've got a rust console edition server but the fun is only just beginning because this is the easy part now once you get that server there's this button that you've got to click to activate the server i don't know why people are buying servers and they want to activate them but hey maybe someone wants just i don't know maybe you want to collect them they're, they're cloud servers, so you're not really collecting anything, but some people are dumb. Anyways, let's say you hit that activate button, it takes you to an invalid page. So I've, I've, I've got two solutions here. One solution was given by, uh, I don't know, I, th I, think it was, I think it was the developers. They suggested that you simply buy another server, specifically a server in Germany. It seems like those servers are doing better than servers in the US. I don't know why we won World War II, so I don't know what's going on here, but it is what it is. Sometimes the internet gets things wrong. But no, the, the servers in Germany seem to be running a little bit better than the servers in the US. Um, so people suggested just buy another server there. I, I don't know. I mean, this is a bit like going into Burger King. You come out, you open your burger, there's cum on it. You decide to lick it off and go buy another. It's a little weird, especially if you didn't like the experience. And it's it's we're, we're never going to go there again because if, if, if I'm being honest, I imagine myself cooking up that burger and then I imagine myself doing the, the like which it's oof. anyways moving on from that disturbing imagery that's gonna hit, hit subscribe hit like do some donations some memberships everything like that because i think i just cost myself like another 10 hours at the psychiatrist and <laughs> no but like seriously anyways um yeah I, I don't know why people suggest like just buying another server but if you can refund your server or it seems like basically what some people are doing is they're asking for a refund on their server. They're getting their money back and then they're going ahead and buying another server. And sometimes they say that second server, they can actually go ahead and activate, especially if their first server was in a US region. And then they switch over to the German region. So now you've got your server activated. You've officially made it farther than me. Firstly, because I'm not really going to just switch my server zone to the EU because I think it's going to run because now I've got a server in Germany that's laggy for me. And like, look, I want to host servers everywhere. I want to do East Coast, West Coast, Germany. I'd love to do Australia, but it looks like, I don't know, D11 or G Portal or someone doesn't really believe in you guys. So you don't get servers because you're not real, obviously. Same with Asia, Africa, and um, well, pretty, 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 pretty much everybody else outside of North America and Europe, I guess. North America got two, though balls to the walls right boys um but no yeah that 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 fixes some of the issues i'm not gonna go ahead and buy a second server because like that just it, i i, I don't want to reward incompetence by just spending more money with a service because they're incompetent and like yeah when servers come out i probably will spend more money with them because honestly i think people are gonna hopefully enjoy the servers that i create and if you all enjoy it then i'm game to keep making more of them if I, have, if I have a thousand people that'll fill up 10 servers i'll pay for 10 servers and we can make this thing run and i mean i'm hoping i'll get like a dollar for vip slots or something like that and we can make it i'm, I'm saying a dollar each for vip slots i'm not you know spend a hundred dollars to make a dollar that seems like a losing scenario but you know if things are going well i'm willing to if, if they're breaking even i'm willing to just pump out more servers anyways back on the point 
So yeah, the, the, those are two fixes that seem to work for some people. Now, another thing is if your server starts to like start up and everything like that, you need to give it some time. So some people, they start their server up 10 minutes later, they restart it and they just keep going through that cycle. And every time you restart, there's a chance that you could corrupt things. And let's be honest, based on what we've seen, there, there's probably a very high chance that you can corrupt things by restarting your server, pretty much changing any settings in your server right now. So what you want to do, set your server up, let it go live, walk away from the computer, play with your dick or something instead. Do that for a full hour to, uh, who are we kidding? Do it for 10 minutes and play with your phone for like two and a half hours. Come back and see if the server actually runs, if it's working, if it is, praise the Lord, some miracles happened, Jesus owed you one and he just paid it back. You're, you've got a server that's up. If you get in, the server isn't lagging, you, you definitely bribe someone. I don't know what's going on there. And and some people were saying like Jade Monkey and those guys, like they, they just got, they got, they, they got a special treatment because they're YouTubers. G, G portal, G portal. Um, you can't see me, but I'm waving right now. I'm waving. Don't look at my Twitter. Don't look at my Twitter. Don't look at my Twitch. Look at my YouTube subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can, can I, can I get in on the steal? please anyways no I, I don't think there's any sort of special youtube deal if there is they just left me out of it and i sort of feel insulted but i'm a man of the people because they're pushing me out there with all you smelly bastards but yeah um I, I don't think there's anything going on i think it's just jade monkey and some of them got lucky they were probably super prepared they probably did it right on the time i, I was probably i was probably passed out somewhere or something like that and then you know woke up took a dump took a shower did, did the usual logged in saw the chaos tried to create a server and failed it's pretty much how my life goes anyways but no like it's it is what it is um so i'm stuck with the rest of you it sucks i know um but you got to deal with me anyways no um where was i completely lost my train of thought i'm not even high and i lost it <laughs> and no but um yeah, so basically some people are saying there's like a special YouTuber privilege thing. I really don't think that it works. And if it has, like I haven't been contacted about it. I'm a little offended. Like D11, if you're listening, treat treat me better. I'd say that you should treat your customers better, but let's be honest. It, we're all here two, uh, two years after the launch of the console edition. Rust excited for something that was supposed to launch a month from the release date. Like you can do whatever you want to us and we'll come back for more um no but like yeah i i don't think there's any sort of priority but basically if your server does get started up just let it let it sit there for a couple hours see if it works if it doesn't let let it sit there for a couple more hours i'd say honestly give it like six to twelve hours before you say that the server isn't going anywhere and like try to restart it try to redo the wipe or anything like that because just doing that every time you do that there's a chance that something gets corrupted and with everything going wrong right now with d11 causing like d11 g portal they're all turning things off and putting them back on again and they're hitting the restart button and all sorts of junk like that and if you're doing it at the same time there's a chance that you interrupt basically what's what's going on is they're saving the state of the map before things shut down if that gets interrupted you're gonna have a bad wipe file if you have a bad wipe file then your server's pretty much kaput unless you have backups and that's assuming backups don't get wiped and there's a lot of chaos going on right now so honestly if you get your server working i would not touch a thing i wouldn't be restarting i wouldn't be starting i wouldn't be doing anything and if your server starts like kicking along if it looks like things are going just just let it sit there and they've also said like 20 minutes 30 minutes maybe, maybe even like an hour after things start up it, it can get a little funky it can be a little weird you know there might be some disco balls going that you didn't expect to go L let them let them play it out an hour in everything should settle down and you should have like a fully functional server that lags and doesn't have working locks just like the rest of us but if none of that works there's another thing that you can try so this was posted on the rust console discord credit to um credit to weeping honey he's the one that posted this so this is this is a fix for if your server keeps going offline they say go to status scroll down to full wipe hit that and wait for 25 minutes for the server to completely finish its boot go to status and ensure the server is offline hit verify game files wait 10 seconds then try turning things on or hitting restart and if that doesn't work they say contact g portal support but basically yeah you can try doing that to try and restart your server i'd say that would be sort of your last line of defense as far as things go like restarting is likely to mess some things up so if you think you've got a working server if you think everything's like sort of running people can connect i just leave it be for mount for now now if you want to make yourself an owner of the server this is what they said server in g portals don't know that a server belongs to 
a person. So what you've got to do is open the G portal console and enter the following owner ID and then you've got to put in the owner ID. But yeah, basically if you jump into a server and you don't have admin privileges, don't go restarting the server or anything crazy like that. Just make sure that you're an admin and if you're not, set yourself to be an admin. If something else is going on, you're going to need to contact G portal again. Another issue that they posted a fix for was attempting connection when trying to join the server. So you get that attempting connection symbol. And the main reason that's happening, they say, is the server is still booting. So you need to wait 20-ish minutes for the boot to finish. Or if you've already booted, try this. Go to status, scroll down to full wipe, hit that, and wait for 25 minutes for the server to completely finish its boot. Go to status, ensure the server is offline, hit verify game files, wait 10 seconds, and try turning things on or hitting restart. So yeah, like a, a lot of this sounds like you're just sort of restarting the servers, wiping the servers, doing everything like that. But if you do get a server working, ju just leave it be because honestly, if you're doing wipes and everything like that, first off, it's going to be upsetting to some of the people who jump into your server, assuming they get a good experience. A lot of people are dealing with lag and other issues right now, but assuming that someone jumps into your server and is having a good experience, the last thing you want to do is do a full wipe and then take your server down because maybe your server doesn't come back up. From what people are saying, there's like a huge queue right now of servers just trying to get restarted and everything like that, and this queue's clogged, and who knows when it's going to finish, so you're going right to the back of that queue, and maybe, maybe it just like doesn't happen. Maybe you're stuck like me waiting 48 hours, two days, or three days, or however many days it is until things are fixed and with that we're gonna leave from the fixes so if you're looking for any more fixes they're not here they don't exist you just gotta wait for g portal d11 to fix it or both of them to fix it i do want to talk about at the end here is just how badly this rollout has been because honestly here's the thing like d11 knew from the launch of the console edition rust how bad things could get and how annoying it was for players and how many players they lost like they lost hundreds of thousands of people because of how badly the launch went because of the fact that community server didn't drop correctly and when it came time to release community servers after telling us for years that we needed to wait because they wanted to perfect it they released community servers to test branch had all these issues and instead of actually fixing any of these issues they released them to main have the same amount of issues and now we're stuck waiting for them to fix it after we've paid for community servers it just doesn't make sense like all right if they're trying to pump up my youtube numbers like thanks 11 it really does help I'm, I'm i'm being serious by the way this is like this this actually does help for youtube a lot of youtubers are gonna be like no this doesn't help this is horrible but like and any, anytime there's catastrophes like this and you can make a video every day talking about it, it's an easy topic to talk about. And honestly, like it does help the channels a little bit, let's be honest, because all you guys are just stuck looking at a screen. You want to hear something running in the background. How many of you are listening to this right now as you try and figure out how to get your server started or are waiting to load into a server that kicked you two minutes ago? And there's a lot of people that are listening to these videos just because of like everything going wrong and they don't have time to, well, they're not spending their time playing the game, so they want to hear someone talk about it. But... Yeah, I just, I just don't get it. Like they had, they they knew what had happened the first time, and they decided to go around and do it again. And they didn't change anything. They had a test server set up. They had these issues occur, and instead of fixing them, they just figured they'll work on production, or they tried to fix them, and somehow they didn't test out that these fixes work. Or they said, I know they said like too many people joined the test servers, and that's why things went wrong. And then they said, well, once people stopped joining, it sort of went back to normal. But I don't get how you say that, and then you assume that you're gonna launch it on main. And and too many people won't join. There's more people with the console edition of Rust than there are with the staging edition of Rust. So obviously there's going to be more people joining and any problem you had with staging is going to be multiplied. They didn't do any stress testing. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. The worst, the minimum they should have done is take pre-orders. So they at least had some sort of idea how many people were going to be ordering community servers. If you have to do it, say, hey, if you pre-order, we'll give you a $5 discount on the first like first month $15 instead of 20 and now all of a sudden you know that there's 10 million people trying to get community servers and you can you can just buy the extra infrastructure you can make sure that things are set up you can make sure that people are online just or earlier in order to do this and now look there's some junior engineers there's there's probably mid-level engineers that wouldn't think about this but if you're a senior engineer if you're a principal engineer at one of these companies if you're a cto this is these are things that you need to be talking thinking about these are things that you need to be considering like it just doesn't make any sense to me that this didn't run through anybody's head that there was no like maybe they did do all this stuff and things still went wrong but like I, I just don't know how like like they, they should have systems in place for this and even if there's a queue even if there's a queue from starting up servers and all that there still should be the ability for these servers to run once they're started up right now what it feels like is they've got just a few boxes they're creating virtual machines on those boxes to host these servers i'm pretty sure this is what they're actually doing they're putting too many servers into 
one box, one like physical server. So too many virtual machines into one physical server. Those servers are getting overloaded, crashing or lagging, and that's causing all these issues. And then people see these issues on their server, they hit restart because they don't know exactly what they're doing. Let's be honest, most of these server owners probably don't even know what a computer is. If you put one in front of them, they call it an Xbox. But like, no, like, I mean, it just seems like, like there's some ridiculous stuff going on. Like first off in the community, stop restarting your servers. That's just magnifying this problem. But to D11 and G portal, don't allow people to restart their servers every like 10 minutes right like at least if that's the issue just disable the button for now right like disable it just do something put a timer on it so you can only do it once every two hours i don't know but like it, it feels like there's a bunch of things going wrong right now and it feels like someone should have thought about this anyways thank you for watching until next time peace